Well, as you know, everybody, a lot of people saw scattered showers and even some strong thunderstorms throughout the Northland. Some areas even saw a tornado warning in a couple of places. But as for now, there have been no reports of tornadoes that have touched down. But I know a lot of areas around Grand Marais and up north, they got some decent sized hail. Now look at the radar right now. Currently, we still have some scattered showers all across the Northland and this will continue for the rest of the evening. Not expecting any more severe weather, but looking at the storm reports, here's what we're looking at. A lot of hail being reported. We've got some heavy rainfall just northeast, uh, northeast of Willow Valley, and we've got some wind damage just on the border of Canada and Minnesota, as well as you go close to Grand Marais. I know there's a lot of trees down up there, so definitely create some impact from the storm. But like I said, not expecting any more severe weather for the rest of the evening. Now, turning of rain in terms of rainfall accumulation, you can see we got anywhere between a half an inch to some places receiving several inches of rainfall. I know Grand Marais got nearly three inches of rain in less than an hour, so we definitely saw a lot of rainfall. Definitely helping with the drought conditions here. We're still under a drought level because we didn't see a whole lot. Uh, we didn't see enough rainfall to get us out of the drought levels. Temperatures and current conditions right now, we're still seeing mostly cloudy skies. Again, a couple areas still seeing some scattered showers. But overall, we're going to see mostly cloudy, temp uh, mostly cloudy conditions for the rest of the evening. And temperatures should not cool down much more than this. It should be around the mid to lower 50s. In terms of weather watchers, a lot of you all uh, came in and reported, and thank you for introducing me and welcoming me to the news group. But you see a lot of areas, a lot of people got into the upper 60s, even some 70s out in Key 1, but we go down to Wisconsin. Ashland was the only one to reach temperatures at 81 degrees, so it definitely felt more like summer out in Ashland. But we're going to see temperatures cool down a little bit as we head into tomorrow. So here's where we're looking now. We got this system right here. It's very occluded. So the uh, storms that we saw were along this occluded boundary right here. This is going to move off to the east. And then our next system is coming in from the south. And we're going to see more chances of showers, especially as we head into Tuesday. It's going to be isolated to scattered. And Wisconsin looks to have the best chance of seeing some more rainfall. Then that system moves out. And then you see right there the pressure gradient tiny up a little bit. That is our next system, and we're going to see more chances of rainfall by midweek. So tomorrow, we're going to see mostly cloudy skies, temperatures being about mid-60s. Again, shouldn't see any rainfall. So for your pinpoint forecast tonight, we're going to see lows around the mid-50s. Again, could see a couple more showers. Winds will continue on being from the southwest. And then for Wisconsin, pretty much the same thing. We're going to see mid-50s for lows, and we're going to see more chances of possible scattered showers. But overall, it looks to be overcast. Tomorrow, well, we're going to see overcast conditions. The sun's not going to expect it to come out. It will be slightly cooler. Temperatures only reaching about the lower to mid 60s. And then tomorrow for the Minnesota, highs are going to be around 65, 66 degree, degrees. Again, end of rain, overcast conditions. Seven day forecast. Actually, Tuesday, we do have a chance to see some isolated showers as the next system comes through. And by Wednesday, that's the better chance of rainfall. Thursday, it will remain overcast. The reason is, is that 